hi students so for this video i will be teaching you how to use the function of counter in the macro plc so first i will have to set up and basic uh, program So I, I already teach you how to use the timers. Now we are, we are going to use the counter function. So for the counter function, uh, the CTU, CTD, and CTR will be used for the uh, output symbol. So first I will be choosing the CTU or increment counter. And I will be using C0. Okay. So what will happen if I press the push button? Okay. So I'll be pressing C. Uh, check this part, the CTU. Uh, 0, we have a value of 0. So every time we press the button, you will see that it is increasing by one point okay so it counts uh it counts up okay next let's try the other option for the counter now i will be using the decrement counter this one So, I will be choosing also the C0. So, what will happen if I press the button, the second push button? So, if you notice, the value is decreasing. So, CTU is for increasing by one point and CTD or count, uh, counter down uh, decreases the value of the count by one point. So what will happen if I press it even at zero value? So when when it reaches zero, uh, it will not go down anymore. It will not have a negative value. Okay. So the minimum the minimum value for this counter is zero. Okay. I'll try to show another function. Last is the CTR or set to counter value. So again, I will be using the C0. And then I will preset it to 0. So we already have a value. So the value for now is 11. So if we want to bring it back to 0, we can push the CTD or push button for CTD many times but when it reaches a thousand it will be hard to uh, it will be a hassle to press the push button a thousand times again to reset it to zero so we can use the third function the ctr if i press this button you will see it will re reset to zero okay but uh, you can also change the value you can try to set then so every time you press the button the value will return to 10 if that's what the process wants so even if i increase and i press reset it will go back to 10 if we decrease and press for the reset it will return again to 10 but for now i have not able to think any application that uh, needed to reset a value not equal to zero so usually i'm just choosing the zero okay. so what will happen if i choose uh, another address i am always saying that choose the ct0 or the c0 what happen or what will happen if i use the c1 
so you can see that the value for CTU and CTD is not equal so if I increase nothing happened to the CTD because it is another address it will not interact with each other okay and if I try to press reset I'll set it to 10 again if I try to press reset I sorry if I try to press reset nothing happens to the CTD only the CTU will be affected because CTD again is using another address so I will be returning it to zero okay. now what we what are we going to do with this uh, function how can we use this to uh, turn off or tur on, turn on a device so if we're going to use this counter function we need this we need to use the uh, counter address as input so for the counter uh, we will be using these symbols so the symbols are uh, greater than or equal eh, less than or equal greater than uh, less than and greater than equal and greater than or equal okay. so don't be confused with this part because it is not showing the correct symbol so the correct symbol for this one is the less than or equal okay. so even if I select this one so ensure to check the uh, select the correct address so on the upper part i choose the c0 so for this part i will choose also the c0 okay. i'll choose 3 I'll return it to zero. Okay. So I'll choose three and I will add a bulb. So what will happen to the bulb using this uh, input address for the counter? So I will be right now the bulb is not. Uh, activated or the valve is not turned on so for this condition for the counter to activate it must be uh, it must be less than or equal to 3 but the problem is our value is 13 so it is greater than 3 so that's why it is not activated I'll try to reset it first Okay, when I reset it, the value is 0. You can see that the bulb is already activated. Because again, the condition for the C0, for this symbol to activate, is to have a value of the counter less than or equal to 3. So I'll try to increase it up to 3. So 0, 1, 2, and 3. Up to 3, it is still functioning. The bulb is still turned on. And if I try to increase for another one point so the value of the counter is 4 it is not activated anymore so let's try another input let's try the less than or greater than again choose the CT at the C0 and I'll choose the value of 3 And I use the second bulb. Okay. So I'll reset it first. So don't mind the first bulb. Let's focus on the second bulb, the Q0.1. So the setting here is greater than or less than and greater than. So it means that if the value is less than 3, it will activate. If the value is greater than 3, 
it will also activate. But if the value is equal to 3, it will not activate. So you can see the counter uh, value is 0. So let's try to increase that. So 1, 2, the bulb number 2 is still activated. But when it, the counter reaches 3, you see the bulb is turned off. And when I try to increase it again, okay, again focus on the second bulb, it again activates or it turns on. Because again, for this condition, uh, in order for the bulb to be activated, the value must be greater than 3 or less than 3. But if it is equals to 3, it will not activate. Okay, let's try the third, the equal, and I'll choose 3 again. And I'll be using another bulb. I will reset again the counter, so it returns to 0. So for this uh, symbol, for this function, in order to energize it and activate the valve or turn on the valve, uh, we need to have a value of the counter equals to 3. Okay. So any value which is not 3 will not activate the bulb or will not turn on the valve. So now it's 0. So 1, 2, let's focus on the third bulb. Okay. When it reaches 3, it turns on. When I try to increase, it turns off. Okay. Even if I try to increase it again, nothing will happen. Not unless it returns to the value of 3. So let's try to decrease the counter. Five, four, three. So when it reaches three, the bulb activates. Let's try the last one. I'll use again three. And I'll be using the seventh bulb. I'll reset it first. Okay. For this condition or for this uh, symbol, in order for it to energize, we need to have a value of greater than or equal to 3. So right now, our value is 0. So it will not activate the bulb. Again, focus on the last bulb. So 0, 1, 2. It is not yet activated. And when it reaches 3, it activates. So if we try to increase further, it will remain activated. If we try to decrease and it reaches below 3, then we can see that the bulb is turned off. So this is for the basic uh, function of counter.